Hi everyone, welcome to Ranch Reviews episode 8. I'm just so excited about this restaurant today because a lot of people told me it's their favorite ranch. Today, we're going to be reviewing Chili's. Now, I've said this before, I don't love these containers that are just plastic and nondescript. Like I've said, ranch deserves better. But it is black, and like I've said in the past, black feels a little fancier. So I think this container deserves a four. So I want to mix things up a little bit because I feel like um, you ranch heads are getting a little bored of the same thing every time. So I've decided to incorporate a new part of the ranch review and that is smell. So I'm going to see how I think this ranch smells. Mm. Smells like ranch. And obviously I'll be dipping in their french fries. A couple of you have asked me if I think that the type of fry is affecting my review. To those people, I just want to say I'm a professional and I think that I can separate the fry taste from the ranch taste. But thank you for your concern. Okay, here we go. This ranch is really thin. I dipped in a fry quickly and I barely got any ranch. Usually when a ranch is thin, it means it doesn't have a lot of flavor. But somehow this ranch is pulling off being watery and still having a kick to it. Other than a little bit of a kick, there's not really much to it though. I do like it. I will say I feel like the expectation was way up here because so many people told me it was their favorite. It is very good and I bet you this would be really good on a taco or with fajitas or nachos or something that they would sell at Chili's. So it makes sense for their brand. I think I'm gonna give this ranch a B. It's definitely not A quality. It is somewhere in the middle of the B quality. If I was gonna start doing number grades, I'd probably give it like an 84. And don't forget to send me new places that I should get their ranch. I am using your suggestions, as you can tell. Okay, see you later.